Now we're going to look at how to use the document thumbnail template in SharePoint dashboards.com. This is a very easy to use template. First, check through the theme options to find something that looks similar to what you want. There's only a few simple selections that you need to make. One is the border color, uh, which shows around the thumbnail. And then also you can set the background that shows as a background behind the thumbnail image. There is a size slider to adjust the size of the thumbnail image. And then once you have all that set, you can go ahead and copy your code over to SharePoint. I'm going to hit the copy code button and go to my view. You can use a simple text field or calculated field with an, a blank value. That's all that's needed. What you want to do is go to the column header, go to column settings, format this column, advanced mode, and replace the code with the code coming from your formatting tool. Note that a automatically generated image will appear. If it's a image file, it will use that image. If it's a document or workbook or something like that, it will automatically select an image to preview that. Notice that there is a color highlight around the border when you hover, and you can click on that option to take you directly to the file. And that's all there is to it using the document thumbnail option in the SharePoint dashboard maker tool.